Now, the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to the man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, The Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. My soul doth magnify the Lord. Then Joseph, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. He shall be great, and shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife. And it came to pass in those days, that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus, that all the world should be taxed, and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary, being great with child. And so it was, that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And there came wise men from the east, saying, Where is he that is born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. And lo, the star went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. They fell down and worshipped him, and presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And suddenly there was a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men.